I want to spend five, if you don't mind you guys, five minutes, five to seven minutes to talk about something that is important, I think, and then we can open the discussion to something else. You are okay with that? All right. And, and that's the message. It's, it's not here. It's not on the program. But I think it's really crucial for all of us. It's about parents. Um, I know some of us, I know that not some of us, actually, the majority of us think our parents, you know, we're not compatible with our parents. Um, fobs, they don't know, they don't understand, they can't speak the language. My gosh, his accent is like harder than the cow in the store, and, and, and so on and so forth, right? And, and, and we build these barriers between us and them. We cannot relate to them. We can't relate to the message. Man, I'm going to mess. Why is that guy shit speaking in a different language? I don't know what he's saying. I'm not gonna go to, to the semester thing. I'm not gonna go to my parents, man. They're so they're they're so tight on me. They're to the point like I think my dad is a dictator or something, right? And and I have I have to give you there are some of the concerns that you have. They're very legitimate. Like the father tells you, no, don't listen to Usher when he says, you know. Uh, Baby, whatever it is, or 50 cent, you know, uh, what is this? Liz, stupid stuff. Uh, yeah. Rip all stuff, put the shop, and then. Uh, huh? Here we go. Here's the oh, master right there. I found the fervor. I can use the fervor. Okay. Or, you know, <laughs> or, and you know, someone is talking about, you know, a love song, and, and baby here, baby there, and he tells you, the parent tells you, you cannot listen to that. But they pop up over there, like, Habib is this, Habib is that, or Shah Rukh Khan, or, or Shah Rukh Khan is dancing around, or all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's no difference, by the way, there's no difference. If it's Shah Rukh Khan, or Abu Diab, or Usher, the only difference is culture. But the message is the same, we said jump. I know you struggle with that. When they tell you, you can't listen to this, that's haram music. Well, that's halal music then, right? And, and, and we start classifying our parents. It's like, okay, they're hypocrites, and so on and so forth. Uh, the, the, you know, you cannot watch this TV channel, but you see him watching the Arab star, idol, whatever it is. Uh, 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 he's a superstar, here we go. But you cannot watch American Idol because it's, uh, it's speaking English, maybe. It's something for him, so. Right? But listen guys. There's only two people I know that will care for you more than anyone else in the world, the closest buddy that you have. And that is your parents. And sometimes, your murabbi, your sheikh. That doesn't usually apply to most of us. But I'll tell you, man, there's nobody cares for you. Nobody cares for you but your parents. When you're sick, who's going to be up? If your mom, your dad, you need a ride? And they, won't get, you know, they might get frustrated. It's your father, your mother. It's when, when they say, when you have these regulations and, and you know, don't do this and don't do that. Why? Because based on fear. Man. It's not because they want to just lock you up. Because they're afraid something will happen to you. Really, that's, that's, that's the... You know, that's the bottom line. I know it's difficult to say no, but this guy, his mother allows him. This guy's father is allowed him and so on and so forth. Definitely, there has to be two-way communication right there. Or some, some parents are much more difficult than the rest. But I'll tell you, it's all based out of love. Not just straight up restrictions. And we need to, to appreciate that. And you tell us, you know, this one common thing. Well, when you're... I'll give you a sample, example. Oh, when you're doing nothing about the hood, man, yeah, probably most of you don't because we come from middle class families and or upper class families. Oh, you know nothing, man, about the projects. You know nothing about the hood. You don't know nothing about you know, the gutter or the neighborhoods are really tough situations. I'll tell you, yeah, maybe I didn't grow up in this project, but I was born, and you said, well, you're a fob, you were born in Jordan, so you know nothing about that. Really, I grew up in Jordan, right? In a bad neighborhood. I had a friend who got killed because one guy wanted to rape him. I've seen guns, drugs, uh, prostitutes, everything you want. Right there. Maybe in a different country. Maybe it is. It is a different country. But I've seen it with my own eyes. Dealt with it. First hand. We spoke a different language. So what? It's there in front of you. 
It might be different, different location, but a similar experience. The same applies to your parents. They grew up, they were 13 at one point, they were 15 at one point, they were 16 at one point. You got your hormones up, you cannot keep your eyes off this girl. Your father was in the same condition, man. Don't think he was born an angel. And you say he cannot relate to what I'm going through. Yes, maybe he went, didn't go through, through the same different high school you went through, the same middle school that you went through. He didn't see the same as much flesh as you have seen, but he went through, through the same age group. Different culture, different location, but he went through the same thing. So don't say, totally you don't understand, you can't relate. They can, maybe they forget. But your mom was young at one point. Maybe she had a crush on somebody. Or your brother, or whatever, your father, your uncle had a crush on somebody. Sometimes the, 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 the environment around you does change certain elements. They were not listening to, to rap it like it's hot, but they were listening to Um Kalthum, uh, whatever she was saying, <laughs> like take me to your, right? Different, different environment. But they went through the same age group. I'll tell you, and if you say someone you cannot, cannot relate to, well, guess what? It's your challenge right now to relate to them. You know, your dad tells, how many of your parents said you cannot have a MySpace page? Or Facebook, or Facebook, or Facebook, or whatever. Right? So some of, us, some of our parents do oppose that, correct? Right? Thinking what happens there. It's all these girls are naked and listening to, right? But you can, can, can bring them over to them, no, this is just a social networking place. I connect with my guys. I'm the girls, the almost a girl. But, which we, we, we need to be, you know, you know where we, that's where we hold ourselves accountable. If you're strong enough, you believe in what you're doing is correct. Every medium that you have can be turned into something that is haram and something that is legitimate. But you as a user, that's how you, that's how you use that, that medium. You know, who has iPhones? You know, who has, uh, you know, you can text message some of your friend and you can text message someone who you want to hook up with. You as a user, you make that difference. And our parents maybe didn't have Facebook and they didn't have, maybe they heard the Sheikh said haram about MySpace. Well, come and teach them. Don't say just they don't understand. No, teach them. You got to break that up. If you're Masjid, Masjid Badr or Masjid Prison, you got nothing for the youth. Well, guess what? Ammo is 40 years old, he's going to keep playing soccer because that's what he knows. You want to play basketball or you want to play football, you got to introduce that to the community. You got to come forth with your idea. I know sometimes we get shunned away and we have difficult time to crack in, but you got to keep on trying with us. You know why? How many of you play sports? Players at a competitive level in your school. What does the coach say? If you're playing against a superior team. Your best and what first what do you need to do? You gotta believe in what you got, right? You gotta believe that you make a change, right? Don't feel inferior. Really, like so I want my thing here. Our parents have went through the same age phase that we're going through right now. Different environment, different culture, different, different language. Correct. But we cannot just say, oh, I cannot relate to them. And just, you know, yeah. something, I don't know if it's happening in prison or not. And that's the reason I said, I want late high school and actually early college. Too many guys walking away, walking out on their parents. They think they, they, think they can do it. Two weeks to come back crying, take me in. I can't handle it. I can't pay the bills. I'm only playing we all the time, because you're not going to pay the bills that way. Right? So, our parents, we got, if we cannot bridge the gap, we have to you know, get back to them. And you know what? They're your parents. They're, they're, they're the ones of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, you know, after him, even if they're non Muslim, even. If they push you to do kufr, to associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah says, Don't listen to them, yet you gotta befriend them in this life. And you gotta be kind to them. Take the garbage out. <laughs> right? Take the garbage out. Take the trash out. Take the trash out. 
right? Take it off. Take it off. You, you, we got, so this one thing here, I think it's important for all of us. Our parents have been to the same age group that we've been to. Different culture, language, environment, true. But we, but they've been through the same phase. Their main thing is to protect you, not really just to restrict you. And if they don't understand something, teach them, guys. You gotta teach them. You see that new commercial right now? See the kids telling their parents, if you, when you get there, text me, call me, right? To show them Maybe you gotta do that with your parents sometimes. Right? Show them, tell them. I'm, I'm gonna stop here at this, this one level.